Hell yeah. <clears throat> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play of Gunship. I'm the Ninja Stalker, and... Wish Brief next. Hurry, pop the save. Are we good? Are we good? Alright, here we go. Real first mission, even though the training mission was real, because we were up against targets <laughs> that were firing back. OPS number... Charlie Delta Hotel 790 to Warren Officer W1 Rodriguez. From Task Force Commander, time 0600 hours. Call sign Victor. Primary mission locate ammo dump in the vicinity of 1208, engage and destroy. Secondary objective locate headquarters in the vicinity of 1307 and engage and destroy. Base is located at 1413, FARP at 0808. Next page. S2 is giving us information that it is a day mission. The wind is from 163 degrees south southeast at 14 knots. That's okay. Uh, visibility is excellent. Temperature at 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't go off. Why go off? Enemy forces are expected to be in full alert throughout the area. BDR, BDR M2s, infantry, BTR 60s, and EE 9s units have been sighted. Enemy air activity is expected to be light. Gazelle units have been reported. Uh, as I've mentioned, the EE 9s and EE 11s, I think I mentioned. Uh, no, I don't think I mentioned. I think I said that they were like uh, light armored and light light artillery they i think if you look online ee9s and ee11s are like south american or brazilian units uh and then the gazelle i think the gazelle is a uh french or united kingdom aircraft so i don't know why certain units that are from allied nations There's our map, bases over there, FARP's over there, primary and secondary are pretty much right next to each other. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, it'll tell us this now, declining mission, because of the level of danger involved in this is a volunteer mission. However, a decision to decline is not going to sit well with the task force commander. Since your unit is the only one available to fly this mission, he realizes that your unit pulls, pulls the tough ops but that's why you're one of the best. Future promotions, decorations won't be as forthcoming, but that just goes with the territory. All tough decisions have strings attached. This will be what it always states. I think even in the campaign missions, it says the same thing. Uh, so yeah. And yep, so ammo dump at one location, headquarters at another, search and destroy for both. Even though it says engage and destroy, to me, it's search and destroy. Alrighty, let's choose our chopper. Uh, being promoted from warrant officer candidate to W1 does not net us any new aircraft, unfortunately. That's another thing about this game I wish was a thing was a lot more aircraft. I mean, we do have the choice of Apache, Longbow Apache, Super Cobra, Defender, Kiowa, Blackhawk, Comanche, Comanche, and then that's pretty much it. It's surprising that you get Comanches at cho as choices. Um, though, I still wish that there were more aircraft to choose from. Chinooks would have been another option. Uh, or some other, uh, other aircraft. Uh, I think that's all. Do, do we have anything else? 
I mean, there were other helicopters the United States Army had. There was the, uh, I forgot the name of it, but I think the nickname was the Hercules. Not the... Not the C-130 Hercules, but the helicopter. I think there was a helicopter known as the Hercules, which it was a sky crane. I think the nickname was the Hercules. This sky crane was powerful, was strong. I mean, I think it did a lot more work than the Chinook. They just went with the Chinook because the Chinook uh, made sense for transporting troops and picking up cargo, whereas the sky crane was only a sky crane. It was literally a skeleton of a helicopter that had a power powerful engines that could pick up containers with ease and i think it had three pilots it had two in the front your uh pilot co <laughs> excuse me your pilot your co-pilot and then it had a rear pilot who took controls to uh slowly move the aircraft once it was kind of like in hover mode to pick up and release containers how crazy was that? Uh, let me see. Were there any other aircraft? I'm trying to think. Was there any other? Oh, yeah. Told, um, uh, um, the uh, fucking UH-1s. We have AH-1s, but the UH-1s would have been great. The Hueys. That would have been an interesting helicopter to have in here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I don't know if this game would have been great with fixed wing. And of course, there's also future, uh, future aircraft. I mean, you got the Raider, you got the uh, Invictus. Uh, there's just a bunch of aircraft. I mean, they, they could have thrown in here. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, again, it's amazing that they had the Comanche in here. But a lot more aircraft would have been awesome. And, an, and a better ranking system with the already good ranking system would have been awesome too. Anyways, what aircraft do we want? Uh, well, we're very limited. We can go with the Cobra again. Uh, we can go with the... Let me see, do I want the Defender or do I want the Kyle? We're very limited on which one can do what. This one... This one comes with a 7.62 millimeter cannon. Uh, this one does not. This one you have to mount. But that cannon ain't doing dick for shit. Except for against like maybe infantry. Uh, Blackhawks, you can you can you can mount weapons on Blackhawks, but I, I I don't want to. I don't really I don't want to play Blackhawks. Although uh, I didn't mind playing the Blackhawks when it was Arma. The Arma games, the, the first Arma game I played was Operation Flashpoint Cold War Crisis or Arma Cold War Assault. Um, I didn't mind it. And though those Blackhawks, they had fixed pylons, fixed wings with pylons, and those pylons had rockets. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I could do it. It's just, I don't know. If it's a choice... If it's a choice, I won't choose uh, Black Ops. Nothing against Black Ops, it's just I, I'm not going to choose them. But in the armor game, I was okay with it because guess what? After the Black Ops, you went to Cobras. After Cobras, you went to Apaches. After Apaches, you went to the uh, the A-10 Thunderbolt. Uh, so there was always a progression. Whereas here, you get to choose off-rip what you want. Even though you have to make it to certain ranks. Uh, I think in this one, we're going to go with the Apache. We're going to go with what I have, even though what I have is not the Alpha Model Apache. This is the Alpha Model Apache. Uh, yeah. So, off-rip, we are always, always, always going to put Stinger missiles. We'll have four. Two each wingtip. That's what we going to do, boys. All right, uh... I mean, we could have sidewinders, but you only get two. Two per. So one on each wing. Uh, now, what do we want for our engagement criteria? Yeah, let's see. Go with the Hellfires. Toes wouldn't be that bad. 
and it'd be less weight but less range. Uh, Hydra's not that bad of an option also. Ah, here we go. Certain aircraft get certain select munitions. This is one of them. You get the Maverick Missile. The AIM-65 Delta Maverick uh, Heavyweight Image Imaging, excuse me, Imaging Infrared Guided Missile for use against armored threats. I've never used this because of this. You only get one per pylon, or one per inboard stores. Like that, like come on now, that 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 is crap. Though, if you're up against a hardened target, these wouldn't be that bad to have. This will knock something out. I just don't like the idea that it's a single fucking missile that weighs so damn much. I mean, it's great distance, but no thanks. Uh, and then you also get the Penguin. Penguin Mark III, lightweight imaging infrared guided anti-ship missile for use against all ocean going threats. 40k. Um, I've used one of these. I, I either missed or those, those ships, those threats that are uh, littoral targets require more than one penguin because uh, it didn't destroy it in one hit. I was like, what the fuck? And again, these ones, it's one per, so. And then chaff flares, let's select. the chain gun ammo the m230 bushmaster chain gun 30 millimeter you for use against unarmored and armored targets true story uh range 1.5k uh, again i'm not gonna uh either confirm or deny that uh, that is not what the chain gun looks like that's some random chain gun gatling gun fucking picture uh the chain gun does not fucking look like that you want to know something else uh you see how i have that call of duty modern warfare 2 game up there have you guys played that game have you guys seen the apaches in that game in the campaign at the very least they have two fucking chain guns one at behind the other what the fuck that is bullshit i got so i got so pissed when i saw that i was like why are there two m230 chain guns and why the fuck do they look alike and one is shooting faster than the other one is shooting as fast as a fucking minigun while the other one shoots just about roughly just about as fast as the m230 is supposed to shoot i got so pissed when i saw that i was like this is some fucking bullshit uh anyways let me get off that rant uh this this m230 does work uh now you see it says right there ammo 1200 rounds uh, if, if you have the internal fuel tank, it's not going to be that. Good. It's not. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the IFAS, you yeah, know, and there's two different types too. There's two different types, but generally, generally speaking, everyone uses the one, the one and only. It's not really only, but quote, unquote, only. Anyways, let's, uh, let me see. I remember if I fly too low to the ground, I think the Hellfires in this game has a tendency to want to dip down. And with the, with how low I fly, I think the Hellfires gonna have a higher chance just fucking lawn darting into the dirt. Shit. I don't know if the Toes had that issue. had that issue but let me think 
because I, I do want Hydras. I do want Hydras. Let's grab some Hydras and... Well, wait a minute. Uh, if I... Where are the toes go? Toes... Okay, and then what about you... Alright, perfect, perfect. Okay. I don't want my Hydras on the end wars. Uh, so, let's grab Hydras and let's put them on the outboard. And on the inboard... Let's... I wish you can, like, actually select what you wanted. So, like, I would go Toes and uh, Hellfires. I would put, like, I would put, like, uh, this. So you see how it's, like, two and two? And then underneath that, I would have two and two of the opposite. But you, you can't. So let's, uh, let's remove, let's, let's go with Hellfires. Why not? You can see our load went up to uh, 79%. Uh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, it's, it's not great, but it's, that's not bad. Uh, in Afghanistan, especially over in Dalky, uh, where you were in high altitude and it was summer, so very hot. We were dual engine power limited. Uh, we, our load, we were, <laughs> we were pulling the collective, and that collective was already as high, almost as high as you can get it. We were very limited in power. We were doing limited power takeoffs, and it was like, oh fuck! And I got this short runway, and <laughs> golly, we would be like, fuck, maybe like 80 something, 90 something percent, and dual engine limited at a, uh, it like mid 90s if not low 90s so it was like oh shit <laughs> we're pulling everything it's got and we did not have this load out like we we were not this we didn't have all this just the aircraft itself the munitions what little munitions we had and the environmental conditions oh man let me tell you and oh it was it was something else i was like oh crap i hope we don't die we're about to run at the end of the runway there's a there's a chain link fence right there. Fuck, please just get just get over this wall. <laughs> let, me, let me get over this wall. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to go with this loadout. We'll have anti-air, anti-ground. Uh, we have plenty, plenty of munitions. We also have that 30 with 1,200 rounds. It'll get the job def well done. Uh, so we have an ammo dump and headquarters. Search and destroy. Let's begin. This should be a quick mission since targets are both relatively close to each other. And we are in this amazing gunship platform that's got ammo for days. I just got to not be an idiot flying too high, which I've shown him not to. But I just got to not fly too high and uh, become an uh, easy target. Now, let's, let's go ahead and check the map. Let's go ahead and place place our first target, or waypoint, rather, excuse me. Cancel. Okay. Uh, now, you can see here the, the page looks a little different. Uh, From the uh, from the Cobra, you see at the top left there those switches. That's kind of like your circuit breakers to an extent. Some extra switches that you have for other features. I believe the uh, circuit breakers would be further back. There's definitely circuit breakers behind the seat of uh, of where the pilot sits. Uh, but those are some. There's some circuit breakers, and those are definitely switches, as you can see. Uh, it says canopy right there. That's for your canopy jettison. Um, a lot of this I cannot confirm or deny simply of the fact because this is an alpha model Apache. This is not what I have in either the Delta or the Echo that I've that I've flown in. Uh, 
this uh, there's a lot of analog gauges here that shouldn't be there it's got one MPD I, I had I have two for both the Delta and the uh, echo uh. Friendly target. up at the top that should be a bore side indicator uh, but it ends up being your compass your, your, your compass and uh, yeah anyways uh, let's do, do, do. let's Head on over to our target. See what they are. M163A2 piv, piv self propel any any aircraft gun. Highly armor vehicle that is fielded by friendly forces. No threat. Best choice none. Worst choice none. They say that because they're friendly units. You shouldn't be target friendly units. Um, but yeah. So. shot out of the sky because you're a big ass Apache. You're not exactly a small target. Let me check the map real quick. Oh, that's why. Because I'm cutting through the freaking mountains like an idiot. However, unlike an idiot, I'm using the mountains as cover. So, suck it, nerds. We're going to go with Hellfire as our standard choice. Let's go ahead and maybe... I believe 100 is definitely a starting point for a lot of radar threats out there to be like, ooh, there's a, there's a big target right there flying about. Got to shove this missile up somebody's ass. No COP loot. You know what I'm saying? A wink and a wink. Uh, let me see. What do we have? Let me scale in. Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, I do believe that there are other countries that have the Apache. I think uh, Israel has the Apache. I think they nicknamed it the Peyton or Baton or something like that. The UK also has uh, an, a, uh, I think it's like an Augusta Wayland version of the uh, Apache. I mean, it's an Apache, but I think it's like Augusta Wayland or something like that. Uh, and in the UK and Australia, because I think Australia has... They have their more experienced pilot, their senior pilots, in the front seat and in charge of the uh, gunnery engagements and releasing munitions where the least experienced pilot is flying the aircraft. I believe the idea is uh, the pilot to focus more on flying, it would be the less experienced one, whereas the one that can also focus on flying but also in charge of releasing munitions can be in charge of releasing munitions, you know, sound, sound mind judgment to do such thing. Whereas in the United States, we have our more experienced pilot in the backseat who can help, not necessarily puppeteer, but puppeteer the front seater into what to do. And uh, the front seater is the less experienced pilot who's dealing with the uh, engagements and radio calls and stuff. And who can also fly, but primary focus would be on uh, weaponry. And there's pros and cons in the... Uh, something. I don't know what. When I find you, you're going to be a smudge dark mark on the ground. A BTR. I'm not even going to waste a fucking hellfire missile on you. But you're going to get my friend. What you're going to get, buddy, 
is a fucking rocket. I'm gonna We're taking damage. God damn it. Yeah, see, I'm, I was too low to the ground, so let me let me pick up an altitude just a smidge. Right about there, 60 should be okay. I wish there was an ad, uh, an altitude hold in this game. That would be pretty realistic for me. Okay, you suck dick. I wish, yeah, I wish there was an altitude hold because then I could just hold at 60 and then it would hold at that every single time instead of me having to adjust every time because every time my my aircraft picks up in altitude it's like oh fuck somebody got me anyways uh wait a minute am i going away from those targets i am going away from those targets i don't want to go away from them i want to go kill i'm a fucking killer stingers no we don't have no air units yet cannon maybe depends on the Stop climbing! Alright, let's climb just a little. 75, eh. Alright, where, where, where you at? Where you where you at? We picked you up. Oh, we picked a... Oh, shit. Like, an extra one or two. Alright, motherfucker, where you... Ooh, tow gun? Nah, uh, I don't want to waste... Let me... AML. Uh, nah, I won't use a Hellfire on you. You're just... If we check, AML is this right here. AML 90 Reconnaissance. I thought that was like a French vehicle, AML, but it might, might not be. I don't know. Lightly armored vehicle that is usually armed with only a machine gun. Has a 1.5 kilometer uh, limited threat. You can use uh, cannon, M24s, toes, both Hellfires, and... Hellstreak? What the hell is a Hellstreak? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, go ahead and adjust, pump them up, in reality, you wouldn't really slow down like that, uh, in the game, I can get away with it, because I'm already low at altitude, but, plus, I'm just doing a running gun, I'm not really doing a, a bump and dive, or just running and diving, I'm, I'm, essentially, what I'm, what you're seeing here is just running, oh, this You ain't gonna be on the you ain't gonna be on the slide like that. Motherfucker, you you jumped in. Little weak fuck from the club, you jumped in. And I'm about to show you what you thought you was gonna get your lick in life. You trying to get that lick going on? Mm -mm. I'm about to show you right now. I'm about to I'm about to ruin your fucking day. Snaking around. I'm in, I'm in my mo Oh, secondary. Wait, what? Look how far away I'm from the actual objective. And it says the primary objective is actually this. All right, I forgot about this. This was one of the things I disliked about this game. My primary objective is over there, according to the map. Where it's at is actually in fucking front of me. I hate that about this game. That was I forgot about that. That's one thing about this game I fucking hate. You go to one location and you'd be snaking around looking and scooting and pooping like where 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 the fuck is my objective at? And then you check check how far away it is, right? Like how far away? 7.3k from my current location where the target's actually at in front of me, where it's stated is to be at 7.3k to my uh what would that be? Uh um southeast? East southeast? That was one of the things, like, ugh. Anyways, uh, primary ammo dump. Uh, ooh, actually, what can I use on you? Uh, M261 cannons, toes, both hellfires. I think our... I think we could try... Well, no, these aren't 261s, are they? Ah, I don't think it matters. Alright, let's angle our... We're back, smash dicks. Alright, Fuck, 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 fuck! How's my... Uh, we're good. We've been hit. We've been hit, but... Not, not, not too crazy to him. Incoming rare! Shit. That's because I got up over... Got flares, got flares! <gasps> Objective sighted. Incoming left. Alright, somebody... SA-13? Nah, you... You going to hell, motherfucker. And eat a dick. Suck it. I'm fucking...
fucking playing with that SA-13. Alright, let's go back to the 247s. Get ourselves lined up. Incoming left. What the fuck? <gasps> Objective sighted. Primary objective complete. Fuel's at 58%. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Let's... Eliminate. Let's go. Let's go to the FARP. I'll show you guys the FARP. Oh, my God. Show you... Do, 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 do that. Now, you can place more than one waypoint. I just delete one and go to the next one. All right, we're 10k away from FARP. Uh, if we look in the aircraft, the FARP is at 13. Uh, wait a minute, I thought there was an option to say, yeah, two two one five degrees. That's that's what I meant. Oh, motherfuckers behind me, and it's because I forgot about my altitude. All right, we're gonna take care of you guys. Where are you guys at? BRDM, and that's it. Just BRDM. Uh, I'm going to the farm, so suck dick. Where's your friend at? Oh, he's just right there. Where you at, motherfucker? Suck it. Generally speaking, when you see the mountains, you want to anticipate the climb. You don't want to just fly at it and let it just just go up. That's not how that works in reality. You you see a mountain, you're gonna start climbing. You're gonna start your climb early. Uh, but in a video game, you can get away with things. Me, I in a video game, uh, that is, I'm gonna circumnavigate. Enemy chopper. Th oh shit, we're at. Uh, oh motherfucker. Alright, he's at my... What is that? Uh, 7 o'clock. Let's go ahead and turn. Enemy chopper. Yep, he's trying. He's definitely trying. Where you at? Where you at? Where that's BMP. That's not what I want. Descend, descend, descend. Incoming right. Incoming left. The mountain should cover for those missiles. Fuck. That didn't hit, but that, that went right past Enemy me. Enemy chopper. Fun. I know I'm trying to get to a position where that BRDM or that BMP, I forgot what it was, isn't going to hit me. Alright, where you at, 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 where you at? I know you're around. Where you at? Look at you, motherfucker, where you at? Ah, there you are. You done fucked up now. Am I 24? You a dick. Gotcha. Bitch. All right, and I snapped the who, who who was that? It was a BMP, I think. We're at forty-four percent fuel. All right, I got I got something for your ass. I got something for your ass. I got something for your ass. A fucking big ass, ninety-eight pound long ass fucking tube alpha model with your name on it. Show me your butt cheeks. Show me your butt cheeks. You're around here somewhere. Where you at? I'm about to clap some cheeks. Oh, you gonna show up. You gonna show up. I'm coming for you. Where you at? Show me them cheeks. About to clap. Clap, clap. MP2. Oh shit. Well, you see the butt cheeks I'm talking about up at the top of the the screen on the heading indicator. It had those two little red things. They look like butt cheeks. Clap them cheeks, butt cheeks. Video game. 
with uh, the, the uh, controls that are set up because I had the difficulty set the way it is. I don't have to worry about uh, controlling the aircraft as much, and I really don't want to do that shit. So. Go ahead, bring it forward just a bit. Early target. And all right, let's rearm, refuel. Sweet. Bring it back up. Climb. Okay, so primary objective was off its mark. Well, how much you guys want to believe the secondary objective is off its mark? Let's go ahead and make our way in the general direction. of individuals with me it'd be whoever two is three four five so on and so forth waypoint cheap all right pull up did somebody motherfucker incoming right enemy chopper incoming left We got hit. You see that? All right, so we took a hit. If you look on that page right there, you see on the aircraft silhouette, the left side was hit. That'll be the uh, number one engine right there, uh, or at least the rear half of the uh, engine. Now, what does it do per se to the aircraft itself, uh, especially when it comes to the engines? Maybe engine performance or climbs or airspeed is going to be affected. I don't know. I don't think the airspeed was affected. Maybe climbing might be affected. Uh, maybe fuel flow might be affected. I don't know when it comes to those parts. All I do know is, it, is all I do know is that the tail rotor section, if that gets hit, your aircraft will start to yaw uh, left or right. I believe it tends to go to the left for whatever reason uh, in the game. Uh, if the front of the aircraft got hit, like the nose, the gun's going to be in op. It, it'll be intermittent, and then it'll be inoperative. Uh, so you'll have a bent gun, so to speak. Uh, your pylons could get hit, which will limit the factor of how you use your weapons. So your cannon could be zero. Your Hellfires, your M247, your Stingers could be zero because your wings, because your wing pylons got hit. Uh, that's something to note. So whenever you get engaged, not all the time is your flares or chaff going to save you. Sometimes it'll come down to your maneuverability in the aircraft. That's why you always see me yanking and banking left and right. That's why. 
Those are my evasive maneuvers. And uh, again, I'm not going to confirm or deny if that's what we really do in the Apache in real life. But that is what you see that I'm clearly doing in this game. Because, yes, I have chaff. Yes, I have flares. Uh, but I'm not also going to uh, neither confirm or deny that those work in real life every time, all the time, or at all, versus this video game. It is a video game, after all. I'm doing what I can to help out my survivability. So, uh... All right, we got rid of one. one where, where the fuck is this infantry? This infantry motherfucker. Because those guys can also shoot missiles at you. When I find you, son of a bitch. I hate how it just wants to climb and climb. I, I just want to... Where are you at, bitch? I hear you. I just don't see you. Where? Where? There! Suck it. Incoming left. Incoming left. Alright, uh... This general direction. Do we have more infantry? Yeah, we have another infantry and we also have something in front of us. Let's switch to... Hellfires for now. While we, uh, creep up on this motherfucker. Right there, BTR, suck it! Alright, where's the other... Where's the other... Where you at? Uh... Over here somewhere? That's what it looks like. Good for now, but that was damn near a frontal hit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, taking a missile shot in the front, nobody's surviving that. <laughs> that I don't, I don't have to tell you that that's secret or not. Like, dude, like, you take a missile shot to the front, it's a miracle if you survive. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to Hellfire. Uh, hopefully, we spot this fucker. We're near the uh, secondary objective. Just assuming we're gonna have to do some flying. What's, what's my fuel at? 75%. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Where's this other guy? What are you? You. What are you? Are you light armor or are you heavy armor? Or anti air? There you are. BRDM? Ah! Hellfire. Bye bye, baby. You. Objective, I'm in the area, but it's like, just like the primary objective, it was well the hell off, so now I gotta be snaking my way around, finding this motherfucker. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's pop up, let's climb. Yes. Ooh, no, 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 no. Descend, 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 descend. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. that would, we would have definitely crashed. Uh, uh, ZSU. I don't, don't want to be that high up in here with ZSU. He's just looking at me like, oh, check it out. Clay pigeons. All right, where's my hellfire? <laughs> Out, 
probably pop, he, he probably saw me on radar and he was he was probably smoking a fatty or something and he was like oh, Apache that high in the air? Oh shit, get the guns ready. And then he saw me descend and he was like, where the fuck did he go? Oh, this is the ZSU 57 by 2. Oh yeah, all he has is just guns. He just all he has is just two 57 millimeter guns and that's it. The ZSU 23 by 4, guess what? Has four 23 millimeter guns. Yo. Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. And... Oh, stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me. Yeah, see how I turned away and it didn't hit him? Come on. Fuck, I'm out. Shit. Holy shit. Alright, uh, I ran out of Hellfires. And do you see my M247s, how it says zero... And one uh, and 19. That's because if I go to this page, you can see my left pylon, my left wing, and anything on the left pylon is now zil, nothing. So I lost 19 missiles, or I lost the ability to use 19 rockets and whatever hellfires I had left on that side, whatever stinger missiles I had left on that side. So the ones that you see the readout for, 19, 1, that's what I have left on the right side. Yeah. Uh, I might have all I might have used up all of my hellfires. Because it says it, it says zero. I, I think I might have used them all. But uh you can you can tell like once shit starts going, I like you I, I start freaking out. I'm like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna get shot at anymore. I need a bug out reassess the situation even though in reality we wouldn't be in pause mode but definitely would bud bug out do a uh turnaround a turn and burn and come back to uh re-engage that way it's like they they don't they don't finish this off or you would just bug out head back report report up the grid coordinates of where that target location is and do a call for fire uh fire for effect uh with the uh, artillery Right now, what I can engage with is... Do I still... Wait. Uh, yeah, I can still engage with my 30 millimeter cannon, which can definitely take out the targets. I have rockets that have a greater distance. Uh, what else do I have? One stinger missile that'll be for whatever air units are left. Cannon for self-defense and for engagement. And uh, we have an SC-6 over there right now. I'm just like turning and burning to make sure he doesn't engage. Shit. Come on. Come on. Uh, pop the chaff. There we are. Uh... Let's go with uh, this. Let's stop fucking around. All right, let's close the gap. I want you. You you need to get gone, like today. Incoming All right, let's. I missed I missed the uh, the first shot, but I got him on the second. I don't really like missing any of the shots. Objective sighted. Yes, you. We're taking damage. Alright, let's climb a bit. How about that? And get out and then Objective sighted. Turn. Get on target. Okay. There is strength. Secondary achieved. Alright, uh we're at fifty two percent. Okay, let's return to base. RTB boys. Uh, I don't really care on the altitude of our return. We should generally be safe on the return to base. So I'm not going to care too much about altitude. Oh, shit. Alright, now I do care a little bit about altitude because we still have uh, threats out there. ZSU 57 by 2. We can engage. We're 1K, so let's adjust. Here you go. Eat a dick. EMP2. 1k, we can adjust, and dick, and okay, let's go ahead and pop up again, uh, 
whenever you start running low on ammo, ammo. your co-pilot get used to him telling you ammo low every I don't know five to ten seconds. It's kind of annoying. I don't know ammo. how to get him to stop. I don't know how to get him to like stop that. Like, hey, I acknowledge. Uh, so yeah. Ammo low. Is there any of the threats so far? Negative. Not. not as In this view, get used to having your radar over there and looking at that a lot. That can Ammo really low. save you money. Other than using your eyes in this terrain, because, I mean, distance-wise, you only have so far to see. That radar on Ammo your bottom low. right there is what's going to help you out. The yellow that you see on that radar is uh, rockets or missiles coming to or from you. And uh, the red dots are going to be the targets on the ground. The black or blue dots are going to be the air units. And, and yeah, like get used to understanding that radar and the and the cross sections for that radar. Ammo low. Ammo low. Ammo low. Holy friendly target. Shit. Friendly target. Yo, friendly Ammo target. Low. And look, we got butt cheeks. Ago and I'm like, it's, it's it's winter. I need I need my four wheel drive vehicle. I don't like driving my Hellcat in the snow. She's doing all right, but that's because I'm a very careful driver. I mean, it, it is a manual transmission, so that's a good thing. It's a manual transmission, and I know how to drive it. It's just you don't want to drive a Hellcat in the freaking fucking snow, compacted snow, ice, because that thing does have over 700 horsepower, 600 pound feet of torque. It will fucking rip. You gotta be a very, very experienced and cautious, careful driver. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Very careful, cautious driver to handle that thing in, in cold weather. There we go, that's what I needed. Alright. Loading. While your mission performance was satisfactory, it does not warrant a promotion at this time. With continued success, promotion should be forthcoming. They will generally tell you that, and it's basically those fillers. There's basically those fillers that says, hey, you did a good job, uh, keep at it, promotion's coming. Even though the mission said like, uh, pr uh, promotions won't be forthcoming, it is, you just gotta keep doing more missions. It's gonna take like, fuck, I don't know, three, four, five missions or some shit like that. Just give it, give it, give it some time. Uh, and then the next one should say, like, you took too long, blah, blah, blah. There, you really took, oh, wait, uh, you really took something. Cool. Uh, this next one should say, you took too long. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, okay, that was, that was surprising. Anyways, there's our score. So, status is active. We're alive. Uh, scores 223. I don't remember what I got the first time around. Missions completed, one, campaign zero. And, obviously, we're still on the wall. Uh, let's go here. Let's go ahead and pop a save. Uh, let's yeah, save.
Da, 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 da. Come on and save, yeah. Save. Okay. That was weird. It, it was like I had to actually select save. Or I had to actually click it. All right, and then the screen goes black. All righty. Uh, mission type. Uh, mission type should still be single. Next mission. Uh, ops number Whiskey Kilo Kilo 602. Warrant Officer Rodriguez from Task Force Commander. Time 0800 hours. Call sign India. Primary mission proceed to 0807 and engage destroy mobile scope. Oh, another mobile scope sign. Oh, yeah. Uh, secondary mission intercept T72s. Oh, shit. All right. T72 platoon moving east northeast from 0812 and engage and destroy. Base 1111, FARP 0413. Right. Keep on rolling, baby. Up is a day mission. The wind is from 62062 degrees east northeast at 15 knots. Visibility is excellent. Temperature 108 degrees. God. It is hot. Uh, I actually, in, in reality, I actually like when it's hot. Uh, not necessarily, I mean, normal. I would say temperate. I don't mind it being dry, but uh, hot and humid, whew, you're going to be sweating like a motherfucker. Like uh, we were in Al when we were in uh, Rucker, Alabama for uh, flight school training and SEER training and all. Enemy forces are expected to be on full alert. Expect SA-6s. So I think the SA-6s are the game pools. Your SA-9s, I don't remember what the 9s were. Let me, let me actually double check what the 9s were. Uh, because I know you have SA-8 geckos. Uh, SA-9, actually. Is the SA-9 the Gaskin? And the SA-6 is... I think those are the games. Let me double check. I think the SA-9s are the Gaskins. Let me see. Let me tell you about them. Let's see. SA-9. Yep. The Gaskin. Which uses the uh, 9K31 Strela 1... So those are the Gaskins. Those are those are basically your BRDMs uh, with uh, missiles. SA sixes. I believe those are the Gainfuls. Let me see. Let's say SA six. The Cub. SA six Cub. I could have sworn those were also called the Gainfuls. Yep. 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 NATO reporting name is the SA-6 Gainful. I called it. Yep. So the Cub or the uh, Gainful is how I, how I know it. They have like three fucking long ass missiles and shit. So we have those BMP-1s, BMP and uh, EE-11s. Uh, and then we also have Heinz in the area. Cool. question about does it matter to know what uh these uh vehicles are off rip uh yeah especially as a as a patchy pilot positive identification pid of your targets because me knowing that the sa6 is the gainful and the sa9 is the gaskin not only is it just like oh yeah i know that it's the gainful is the gaskin what it also tells me in this game and in reality what i can engage it with the sa9 gaskin is a uh, wheeled vehicle. It's basically a uh, uh, armor personnel carrier. So, like I said, it was like a BRDM, uh, and that can be destroyed with uh, the rockets. Rockets can destroy those. The SA-6 can be destroyed with rockets, but it's a tracked vehicle. You might have a better op you might have a better choice of destroying it with uh, missiles gonna have a little bit more armor this is just, it's just one of those little things of like is it a track vehicle or is it a wheel vehicle generally speaking wheel vehicles are not as armored up as track vehicles although when it comes to anti-air vehicles they don't have much for armor anyways it's just knowing a choice if you run into an sa6 would you want to use rockets 
on an SA6? Probably not. An SA6 would have a greater range of eliminating you with its missile uh, defense system than the SA9 Gaskin. The SA9 Gaskin, you look at that vehicle and you can tell it's basically an ar a light armor personnel carrier. It's, it's basically a BRDM that they slap some rocket system on it for some intermittent fighting, so to speak. You know, I would shoot uh, a I would shoot 30 mil rockets missiles just about anything and everything at the sa9 the sa6 on the other hand uh i would shoot 30 at it i probably wouldn't shoot rockets at it and i would definitely shoot uh missiles at it and the reason why i would shoot 30 is because well 30 is it's more accurate than uh the rockets the rockets in reality is kind of hard to uh, engage with rockets very very difficult in this game it makes it look easy uh but it's a video game. In reality, rockets are kind of kind of tough. And then, of course, you have your BMP-1s. Those are light armor personnel carriers. And uh, EE-11s, I think that's uh, another armor personnel carrier, if not the light artillery. And then, of course, you have your Heinz. Use, uh, use anything and everything you can against those. Uh, here's our mission. Base is over there. Secondary is over there. Primary is over there. Farp is over there. I would probably say we'll skedaddle on over to the north uh, east northeast for the secondary objective since they're on the move uh i want to go and intercept them engage them and then we'll head south for the primary objective if i get too entangled or too focused uh focused on the engagement in the in the secondary objective and I start running low on ammo, fuel, or uh, I get battered up pretty bad, I'll head over to the FARP, if not back to base, to rearm refuel. And again, in this game, once you get battered up, you, you really can't uh, repair. It would be pretty cool. And we'll have to reassess the situation. Uh, helicopter arming. Let's go ahead and select. It gave us the Super Cobra off rip. That's what's up. Uh, let's just let's just double tap though. A64 Apache. We can't choose that. We have to be a captain. Uh, they gave us the Cobra off rip. It's just it's just, it's just a random aircraft they gave us off rip. A86 Defender. I don't think I would ever choose the Kiowa. I, I I like the way the Kiowa looks. The only thing I don't like about, about the Kiowa is that I'm very limited to what I can carry. Like, very, very limited. Uh, like, I mean, just, just check it out. Just look. This is what I mean. Check this shit out. You get, you can choose stingers, but you only get two. And it'd be like that, right? And you can put two over there, whatever. Uh, remove that. And then, what else do we have? Hellfires, you can put two or two, okay. Toes, you can put two or two. Hydras, I think you could do 14. Seven, oh, seven and 19, excuse me. So you can put seven over here, or you can put 19. And, uh, which would probably be one of the best choices, to be honest. The only issue is on the opposite side, you want to have something that can capitalize because you can you can all day decide to do 19 on one side, 19 on the other side, giving you a total of 38, right? Here's the problem. You don't have any other self-defense weapon. You don't have an actual self-defense weapon as in a gun. This aircraft does not come with a gun. As you can clearly see, it says right wing, left wing, and it doesn't say ammo. You don't see on the left side, it says ammo. You don't see uh, anything like that. This doesn't come with a gun. So that means on one side, you're probably going to have 19 rockets. And on the other side, you're probably going to have a gun pod. And the best gun pod you can go with is the 20 mil because this can and will engage a lot of targets and destroy them. You only have 300 fucking rounds though. Uh, you could go with this one and have 1,500, but again, it says right here, use against unarmored threats. This would be the best one to use against non and lightly armored threats. The, and the, the issue is you're going to have to start picking your targets. You're going to have to start telling yourself, what can my 20 mil gun pod engage? Because I only have 19 rockets on this other one. You can go with 38, but then here's the kicker. 
you're also up against air units. Good luck engaging anybody with the gun pod. Good luck engaging anybody with those rockets. Now, you could use flechettes, but then guess what? You have uh, 19 PD rockets on one side, and then you'll have 19 flechettes on the other side. So let's let's take a look at this, actually. Uh, so light air threats and unarmored. So you can use this against infantry, and you can use this against air units. I haven't used flechettes on air units. I can give it a try, but I don't know if I really want to. Uh, and then you have hydrants. So you'd have 19, and then you would have 19, essentially 19 hydras, uh, flechettes, to use on infantry or air units. To me, that's a waste because you're not going to run into infantry all that often. You're not going to run into air units all that often. So you're kind of, God, man, you are really screwed in this. This aircraft, man, this aircraft's kind of screwed. And then on top of that, hold up. On top of that, let's see what do we have. Here? Let's let's put let's put that there. We're at eighty one percent. Eighty one percent with that load already. Let's check out the gun pod. Uh, over here. We're at one hundred twenty three percent. We're fucked. We're fucked. So then maybe what I'd have to do is click on that. Maybe seven. One hundred and six percent. Uh, oh boy. Alright, so what if we went with 19? And you, maybe? 104%. God damn. You just can't win, man. Alright, what if we went with... The shots? 96%. So then what happens if I did that? 113. Get the fuck out of here. I suppose what we could do is... That you can do this load 19 hydras on one side, seven hydra flechettes, so 19 PD on one side, and seven flechettes on the other side. You could do something like this because, again, there really is not really that many air units. Now, I've never used the flechettes in game, I used them in real life, I never used them in game. I don't know what they can do against air units because I've never used flechettes period whether in game or uh, in, in real life against actual air units I have when I, when I was in flight school people have asked like, well, what would you use against uh, air units and I was like well, I'd, I'd use flechettes and they're like why would you use flechettes I'm like, well it's like a shotgun I mean so you, ever, you ever shoot clay pigeons you ever shoot uh, ducks or whatever I mean like, I haven't but I know people use shotguns to shoot uh clay pigeons and birds and stuff right it's bird shot whatever that's a bunch of fucking things flying in the air to, to down a, a aerial a aerial target right well same concept and then everyone was like well wow way to way to go way to be thinking yeah you you would use flechettes you can, all, you can also use other tar uh, other weapons but way to go and i was like hell yeah this would be the setup right here seven hydras 19 uh excuse me uh 19 pds seven flechettes and our load is at 96 percent This could work right here. This could work. The only thing is, I know for a fact, well, I don't wanna say I know for a fact. The only thing is, there's gonna be more than 19 targets out there. And on top of that, I mean, not all the time do I hit my mark. You guys have seen me hitting short of the target sometimes. Uh, and again, because I, I usually try to anticipate when the uh, constraints box is uh, not inhibited, and then I end up fucking up, and then, you know. But what this right here is telling me is that you're going to be shooting, you're going to be probably missing, and then you'd have to turn and burn back to the Farper base to rearm refuel to get back up out there to engage. That's one of the issues you're going to run into here. This so far is the best lineup that I see that can work. 
Now, let's see if we select the Defender. Let's see what happens if we select this. Now, off rip, you see right here, it comes with ammo 2,000 rounds. This aircraft has its own gun. I don't know if in reality, these AH-6s these AH had a 7.62 uh, 76, millimeter. I do believe in my, uh, what was that game called? There was a, there was a, there's a gameplay footage that I was putting up. I think it was, uh, what was the name of it? There was a game that I was playing that had these AH-6s and one of the options that it had was a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Now, that'd be tight as fuck if it gave me the option to have a, uh, a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Because then I know that 40 millimeter grenade launcher is going to fuck up a lot of ground targets in this game. They didn't offer me that. All they gave me was this, uh... Oh, wow. No one has found myself. Jeez. It only gave me this, uh... This right here, this 7.62 millimeter uh, gun. It's funny how it says it's a 134.7626 barrel minigun, but that doesn't look like the minigun. That picture right there actually looks like the M230 uh, um, 30 millimeter uh, chain gun that the Apache is supposed to have. That's what it almost looks like. But at least you get a self defense weapon. So they at least give you that. I suppose if you really wanted to, you can empty out the minigun. Because that, that gun really isn't going to do shit. It's only good against uh, unarmored targets. Actually, no, you know what? Hold up. I got an idea. Let me, let me zero this out and see what that does. There we go. Okay, so now we're at 40%. All right, cool. So we zeroed that out. Uh, and what, what What am I? Yeah, two. That's what I thought. Uh, I can get toes. All right, toe muscles. Hydras. Yo, give me them hydras sudden. Damn, 71% already off rip. What the fuck, bro? And that's 100 113 percent come on no it, it, it comes it comes with I thought you could adjust the amount of rounds but I wouldn't want to do that uh, go with a gun pod and get a thousand five hundred rounds but I just got rid of that so That's at 86%. 86% load with this setup. 86% load with this setup. Or... Or... 86... Hydras... And... Flechettes... 86 or 96%. Look at, look at the damn difference. This aircraft's bigger than the, uh, than the, uh, the AH-6, too, you know? You would think it had a stronger engine, but, nope. 86% versus 96, 10%, man. 10 fucking percent. Oh, boy. Alrighty, uh, why does it matter? Well, um, I'm, I'm considering either this one or that one, uh, choosing one of these two, and I, I, I kind of want to lean towards this aircraft. Just to give it a you know a, a roll, give it a shot, show you guys what this aircraft would look like. I mean, there's also this one, but uh, damn, oh, boy. I say let's go with this. We'll go with the PD, and then we'll go with the 
jets so that we can go up against air units. Now again, we don't have to engage the air units. We can avoid them as best as we can, but you're gonna have to get rid of them. Uh, fuck, the thing is, I that's the problem though. That, that, that is the problem. The problem being, let's think about this. Let's think about this. The problem is, in this game, shooting these aerial units, because you've seen that they're also uh, scooting and pooping left and right. These are fixed, so that means you got, you got to stay level and true on them the entire time. And you guys have seen my last engagements. They haven't been level and true. I've been using the, the uh, Stinger missiles just as soon as I get a lock, launch it, and it goes and searches and gets the target. So, I don't know if this is actually a good setup, so actually I might have to cancel on this. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What if... Oh, no, better yet. Okay, so what if we do... What if we do this? We're at 80%. 80%. All right, so what if we do this? This setup. We have 19 Hydras for ground targets. We have 2,000 rounds of 762 for any infantry that's out there. And then we have two Stinger missiles for any air units. This would be the bare fucking minimum right here of doing any mission. Because you, oh, you're limiting yourself to 19 rockets, 19 targets before you got to turn and burn to rearm, refuel. Two Stinger missiles, which I mean, there's not too many air targets out there, but there has been times where you have more than two enemy air units. So then you would have to also tell yourself, I need to turn and burn for a rearm, refuel. The good thing is this aircraft will give me a load of 80% with already a minigun with 2,000 rounds. And I can use that. So anytime I see infantry out there, go to the gun and eliminate. So I can do that. Now I think the gun has a 1K uh, min range. but at least it gave me 2,000 rounds, so 1K. So it is not the standard 1.5 like the others have. This is a 2. Uh, excuse me, this is a 1K. The rockets are 3K, and the stingers, I believe, are 6? 6K, I think? So we can, we can work with this, actually. The other thing to note is this aircraft doesn't have very much fuel, 570 pounds. So we're probably going to be turning and burning a lot. Now, before we go, I also want to adjust the chaff and flares. I like that. All right. 10 and 50. Okay. I think we'll go with this. I think we'll go with this. Sorry for taking too much of your guys' time, but, uh, all right, mobile scud site, and, damn, those T-72s, those T-72s, ah, oh, man, uh, fuck it, you know what, we'll, we'll do what needs to get done, T-72s, we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna try use rockets on them, we're gonna try use rockets on them, in reality, you would probably, <laughs> You would probably get off rip if you're a good shot with the rockets. You'd probably get a mobility kill, which is essentially removing the tracks off of uh, the T-72, off of any armor, so any any tank. You'd probably move remove the tracks off of them. Uh, you probably break a uh, one one of the one of the uh, road wheels, and they'd be stuck. And anyone that's a tanker that's stuck out in the open after uh, an aircraft just just downed you. You know he he's going to be coming back to line you up for another rocket shot or a missile shot, or he's probably going to be turning and burning for a call for fire artillery on your on your ass. So you you ain't going to be staying there for long. So mobility kills better than nothing. I don't know if we're going to be able to destroy those on one go. So I'm probably going to oh man I'm, I'm gonna be coming 
be coming and going with uh, rearm refuel, but hey, uh, this aircraft is nimble. It is small. I think we, we're capable of doing it. The other thing to note is the aircraft is small. It's not exactly a, uh, a rugged aircraft, so hopefully we don't get uh, fucked up too bad. All right, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, folks. Let's see if I have the skills. Friendly target. All right, this is what the interior looks like. Uh, we have two MPDs. Big map screen there. You have uh, the other one for we actually have. There's our weapon selection 762, M247s, Stinger missiles. Uh, let's go with the M247s, RPDs. Excuse me. Uh, go ahead and climb out there. Let's check here. And we said we wanted to go after the secondaries because they're already on the move. Secondary, it, oh, wait, secondary is uh, T-72s and platoon. Well, ah, damn. You know what? Ah, shit. What am I? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, No, we'll we'll figure something out. All right, we'll do that. They're more likely going to be following that road. Uh, they're probably going to be in a column. Doesn't necessarily make it any easier because I don't have much offensive capabilities for that. But I mean, if I was in the Apache, it it'd be a it'd be a turkey shoot. Uh, okay, and then let's back out and let's go here. This is what the aircraft looked like. Nice little mini aircraft. Uh, Target. All right, let's go ahead and turn outbound. Let's go this way. Should lead us right on the money where the targets are going to be. I'm more positive we're going to follow this road. Generally speaking, armored, they're not going to go off road. They can go off road. They have somewhat off road capabilities, but they are going to prefer. They're going to prefer going on uh, paved roads if they can. Oh, let's dodge that, please. Okay, and we're coming up on targets. And please tell me that this is Yep. I didn't actually think they would do anything, but they did. And those tanks had a hard time trying to nail me at a 50, 50 on the altitude. Now, generally speaking, uh, generally speaking, what you saw there, we got the first guy in that convoy. It's kind of a technique and a preference of pilots in real life, especially Apache, uh, any uh, attack element. Uh, 
aviation assets, who you're going to engage. Me, all day, I'm going to be okay with getting the lead vehicle in the column or in the trail and then get the last vehicle in the trail. And then if anything, if anything, I will also get one of the middle vehicles because it's going to cause chaos. Getting the first vehicle, to me, what's going to happen in that column or in that trail of vehicles, they're all going to stop. They're all going to be like, what the fuck just happened? I just, I just seen, I just seen this tank in front of me, just rolling around fat, dumb and happy. And then you just, just explosion smoke everywhere. I heard a few and then poo. And then, ah, and all, oh, oh my God, the guy in the back, the rear guy's now bitching and complaining about something. Oh shit. He's on fire. And Hey, there goes a missile or a rocket over me. And it just got the guy in the, like, it's going to cause pandemonium and chaos. Everyone's going to be like, fuck. Now I got to get off this road because something's happening. This game, however, just showed we got the first guy. The other guys kept going straight through him, as, as you can see right there, because uh, it's a video game. The video game doesn't know any better. In reality, reality takes place. People are going to be like, oh, fuck, trying to figure shit out. Uh, and, of course, again, I was flying low to the ground. I mean, about 50 feet off the ground. Uh, and they, they were... They didn't really have a great opportunity and chance to nail me because I, I just came in at 125 knots out of fucking nowhere. No one's expecting to see a helicopter that low to the fucking ground and then shoot a rocket, destroy an air, destroy one of their armor, armor vehicles. And now they're like, oh, fuck, what's happening? There's big explosions, there's smoke. And is that another rocket coming? Oh, shit. And then life flashes before their eyes. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyways, let's uh, let's is. My God, I just realized something. M247 times two, son of a bitch. about that there we go that's so much better I, um, I i just realized i was like why why the fuck <laughs> that that really pissed me off i saw that i was like son of a bitch now i now, now oh my god we we got it we got to we got to go back we got to go back it was shooting two at a time i was like the fuck that oh, I can't believe that happened. Now I gotta go back. I hate that. Like I planned it out. I was like, I got this. I got ammo, you know. And no, it was shooting two at a time. Like I don't care if I shoot one at a time and it takes more than one shot to destroy it. I just want to ensure that it's on one shot though because imagine if i missed the two shots if i miss the two shots i'm gonna be real pissed i don't care if it takes two shots to destroy them i just don't want it that it, it becomes two shots that i miss because if i miss the one shot it's just one rocket that i miss i'm sure i'm gonna get pissed but it's one rocket it's the two shots that i cannot abide by that's why i hate shooting pairs i like shooting singles you can adjust your fire with singles, and once you once you once you find that that mark, you just, just start laying that fucking hate downrange. Friendly target. All right, rearm. Awesome. Up. Friendly target. All right, now let's. Ooh, there's an air unit right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, that looks mighty tempting. Let's let's uh, 
Let's go over there and say hello. Actually, you know what? Cancel that. We'll go over there and say hello later. I need to go over here and just stop that. I need to go over here and ensure that this objective gets destroyed. Those guys, they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. Friendly target. So let's, let's go over. What does it say about the Hummer? Uh, the M998 hum, Hummer utility vehicle, Humvee, unarmor, you blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's that nomenclature for it. The H1s from the Army, the M998. Side, destroy these motherfuckers, and then if we have any ammo left, we'll shoot north towards that uh, towards that chopper. And put a stinger up his ass. Fuck is that up there? An SA9? You about to suck dick, my friend. Infantry? Oh man, you, you about to suck dick. Hold up. Hold up. I got something. How are you still alive? And, and, and that big explosion for just infantry. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, what do we got? Uh, dude, it took like roughly 100 rounds. 100 rounds to kill. Come on. Come on, bruh. Somebody behind. Where you at? Show your face. You around here somewhere. Oh, you're over here in the corner, son. You're over here in the corner. You're in your fucking corner like a goddamn hole. Stop climbing, please. Uh, oh. oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? The Gecko? Is that the SA-8? Is that the... No, it's the SA-6. Alright, well, you're about to die anyways. you about to be the SA- SHIT! Look at that! <laughs> Alright, what else? Alright, let's go back to the primary objective. Yeah, you've got to take advantage of flying low in this game. And in reality, you just gotta get used to flying low. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is not a single person going through flight school and starting out early in their flight career that's going to be comfortable with flying low. But through training, especially as an Apache pilot, through training, you will get... Oh my god, there they are. You're going to get used to flying low. Like, you better get used to flying low. Alright, they're up ahead. We're going to catch them up on radar and they're going to be like, What the fuck, bro? Objective 
Did that not hit? Shit. Descend. How's my armor? I'm um, good for now. Descend. We crept up on them. You saw that? They they could not. They were like, where the fuck? Alright, we got 10 rockets left. Alright, that's, that's one of the advantages that you gotta take. In this video game, and in reality, it's really all about visibility radar threats on your aircraft you fly low they're gonna have a hard time detecting you they're gonna have a hard time finding you now in reality they can hear an aircraft and also in reality they can see an aircraft but if you just sneak up on them they're gonna be like oh fuck what do we do now a bmp out in his own man you got the fucking die bro SA6, you want you, you trying you trying to start shit, huh? We're taking yeah, I got damage. You. All right, who else? Who else wants to? Nobody. Okay, cool. I got eight rockets left. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's remove and head north, right there. Hey, stop that. But yeah, take really advantage of flying. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Oh my god, why'd I do that? Uh, I meant to do this. An AMX-30 main battle tank. Uh, friendly, that's what I thought. AMX, that's uh, French. Alrighty. I was like, the fuck? Let's climb up just a bit. There we go. Friendly target. AMX-30, AMX-30. All right, cool. We have a bunch of AMX 30s. Don't know why they weren't helping out, but you know it is what it is. Sounds like they're firing. Who are they firing at? Oh, is this guy? We're taking damage. Never mind. They're not firing at this guy. He's firing at me, and they ain't doing shit to help me. Go suck it. How's my ah? Fuck. I don't have any Stinger missiles. Got me good, folks. I don't have any Stinger missiles. I have no way to defend myself against that air air target. I can try to skirt around and engage the ground units around that air target, but I don't have any Stinger. Look, like I'm I'm out. My Stingers are out because my my left pylon got fucked. why it's important to uh, watch watch your altitude. The higher up you go, the more dangerous weapons that they can use against you. And that's also a fact in reality. There's a lot of anti-air uh, missiles that has a limiting factor of their gun, so to, uh, quote unquote, so to speak, gun depression. They can't really engage below a certain point, below a certain horizon. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta fly low. Like They're gonna have a hard time. Their, their systems are going to have a hard time trying to distinguish you from the background uh, and, and uh, whether it's uh, thermal imaging or heat or uh, even even radi or radiation. Like it, it's it's going to have a hard time. You know? Your best bet is to fly low and have uh, concealment and cover. my map out god damn i'm over here clicking on it and it won't let me all right let's go let's go here we'll see we, we'll see we'll see we'll see lost my stingers and it makes those beep sounds whenever you go below your uh Okay. 
Enemy will turn inbound. Friendly target. Sounds like we destroyed him, and we did. It's up in smoke. That air target should be behind me. So let's continue scooting over here. Uh, should be, target should be over here somewhere. I don't think that air that air target has seen me yet. I don't think that hind has spotted me just yet. Or the gazelle or whoever the hell it is. I don't remember. Stop climbing. That's way too high there. Stop climbing! That's way too tall. Oh, now he's turning. He's like, who the fuck? Incoming front. Yo, goddamn, he got me good. And that was a lucky shot. Let me see. Nope. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, we're still okay. Demo low. I know that's the sound. Where's the other guy? He's over here. Somewhere. Incoming left. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Yeah, see, once you start climbing, they'll, they'll engage and they'll get you with something. They'll engage with something juicy against you. Alright, let's see. Stop climbing! Nine Gaskin. Okay. Was there anybody else? Yeah, there's that air unit. I wonder. I don't. I don't know. It, maybe he's holding still. Maybe he's. Maybe he's just sitting still. If he's if he's sitting still. If he's sitting still. I wonder. Let me see. Let me try. <laughs> Three feet off the ground. Oof. Oh my god. I don't. I don't like when it starts climbing because then they like automatically like. Oh, got him on radar. Let's. Let's engage. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna try. If he's holding still, I can try targeting him while he's holding still with my, uh... With my rockets. Alright, right, we got him. He's around here somewhere. Here. Demo low. Okay. Demo low. Is that a target over there? Demo low. I think that Enemy is another cover. Oh shit. We're in it now. for Papa. Oh. Enemy chopper. Enemy chopper. Hey, that's the MI8. That's the hip. Demo low. And come on. Line it up. Got him. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking got line that one up he was probably like oh i'm about to get him wait a minute what is he doing and it's like i'm lining you up for this fixed rocket shot motherfucker oh my god hell yeah that's what i'm talking about you know what you know what let's see if we can get this other guy with the uh with the gun let's see if we can get this other guy with the gun where is he at where is he at enemy chopper Yeah, we're flying backwards. Oh my god, yeah! Yes! Yes! This is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Because the thing is, you could be going at like 
you can be going at like breakneck speed, and then they're doing evasive maneuvers at whatever altitude that you're at. And then the issue is they're they're banking and turning and all that. But if you present them and a relatively easy target, they're gonna try and line up on you as best as they can. They're gonna try and line up on you as best as they can. And with that, if you got yourself a pretty good plan for quote unquote setting yourself up as the bait or as the prize, you can preemptively su su surprise them with a type of counter strike and engage them with something. And it turns out like if you present yourself as an easy target, just moving backwards or slowly enough and you're lining yourself up in one direction, bro, they're screwed. They're, why are you climbing so fucking high? What the hell is this? Uh, oh yeah, what was I? Uh, return to base. Uh, yeah, you'll line yourself up and then just, you, you better be a good shot. And you saw I had to super elevate my aircraft line of sight to be above the target in order for the, uh, the, the, uh, the weapons engagement cursor to be uh, not inhibited, you know. did that mission pretty well with barely anything uh, it's awesome all right dude that that is that is awesome two air two enemy air kills with fixed gun that was a 762 and a fixed rocket like come on man like oh my goodness all right and here we go here we go uh, for uh, meritorious uh, achievement you were awarded the army commendation medal for valor uh, while your mission performance satisfactory does not warrant promotion at this time, with continued success, promotion should be forthcoming. Uh, now, I'm not sure, but I think if it, say, if it states uh, Medal for Valor, you should get a V. A V, uh, with a v device, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to check my uh, Archons. I think one, if not both of them, mention Valor. I did not have to double check. I don't know. Uh, anyways... Awesome. Uh, it's probably going to tell us something about time. Took too long. Great mission. You were right on the mark. They never knew what hit them. Okay. You're going to tell me something about time? Took too long? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, surprisingly. All right. Uh, score 491. Missions 2. Awesome. Let's go ahead and save. And there we are, 2. Missions flown, two medals, W1. Again, I don't know if they do promote you to W2 before you become a second lieutenant. I don't remember. I don't remember. It'd be awesome uh, because I am a CW2 in real life. Uh, let's go ahead and save and let's go to one. Let's go to you. Uh, okay. Roster save. Continue. Awesome. And let's return. Okay, we're here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, I'm just going to get something to eat and drink, and I'll be right back. I'll see you guys. 
well, I mean, not pause the video, but uh, there was an unexpected error connecting to the tipping service. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I'll stop the video and then we'll start. 